Welcome, welcome to the commemoration, as we said, of the 3rd Mons Regiment. Let us commemorate and commend to the loving mercy of our Heavenly Father, the Shepherd of souls, the Giver of life, everlasting, those who have died in the service of our country and its cause. Amen. Can I ask the British Legion representative please to say the exhortation? They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrows, we gave our today. This memorial is dedicated to all those who have died for their country from the villages within this parish. While serving in the 3rd Mons Regiment, we pledge ourselves anew to our work in support of wartime generations, especially to all those in other conflicts since. We promise to do everything possible to help where there is need and to ensure that they may enjoy the years that lie ahead in comfort and dignity. But let us in particular remember today those of the 3rd Mons Regiment who died and to whom it was given to lay down their lives for the cause of freedom and justice. In that place of light, where end sorrow and mourning are far vanished, give them rest, O Lord, the lover of men. Grant this for thine only Son, Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Can I ask the British Legion representative, please, and the Welsh Guards representative to come over the side of the feet? <coughs> Let us bless this memorial. Let us remember those who have passed. Let us remember relatives and families. Or especially today, we remember the men who have fallen. Let us have our own thoughts of conflicts past and the present conflicts. Let us ask our eternal Lord to bless this memorial and ask for eternal peace, and also ask for eternal peace in the world. Amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to say that the line retreated, but didn't break. But the sheer horror of the conditions is graphically summed up by Sergeant Cotton from Abergavenny, who wrote of the gas, you get a splitting headache and a terrible thirst, <coughs> but to drink water brings instant death. The British troops had a song at the time. And it goes, far, far from wipers, oh, let me be, where German snipers can't get at me. Damp is my dugout, cold are my feet, waiting for whizbangs to send me to sleep. Makes you think.